Hey, what's up? So, uh, before the video starts, I wanted to show you guys a couple axes that I have for sale. Uh, one other thing, I'm doing a, an axe giveaway at 8,000 subscribers. So, I'm almost there, like 50 more subs, and I'll be giving away an axe. Um, but you got to be subscribed. Uh, it's free. Uh, I think a lot of people think that subscribing costs money or something. It, you don't have to. You just hit the button, subscribe, and then you're eligible for free stuff uh, I'm giving away an axe once I hit 8,000 so that'll be here in a week or two hopefully um, and then in the future you'll be eligible to win um, so but I got these available right now this is a high test craftsman four pound Tasmanian pattern on 31 inch hickory uh, it's got a really nice stamp in real good condition this one's 335. And then I got this key steel. This is a four, four pound key steel, Tasmanian on 31 inch hickory. And this one's 325. So I got those available. I'll put my phone number on the screen so you guys can just go ahead and text me if you're interested. Um, and I'll probably be taking some orders too. So um, if you're wanting an axe and you want to get put on the list, I'm going to take uh, probably five orders. And then once once I get five people's names written down, I'll I'll put it in the comments that I'm filled up for a while. So all right, let's get into the tree work. We're going to cut down that cottonwood in this oak cluster. Probably going to use the cottonwood to to rig off of because. Uh, there's this trailer in the oak, this oak cluster, some of the stems like go over that trailer. So we're going to rig them over to the cottonwood and then once this is all gone, we're going to follow the cottonwood. A little worried about this incline. I'm probably going to tie this bud off somehow, but let me get some rigging set up first. All right, I got my rigging system set up. Pretty simple and basic. Natural crotch. I'm gonna climb uh, DRT, I think, today. Uh, I might regret that, but got my rigging set up. They're working in right in here, so we're gonna be rigging all that stuff over. There's a limb that goes way out that way. I might have to redirect the rigging line through something else to get it to swing that way. But I'll kind of just figure that out as I get up there. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Just let it go all the way. Just let it go. Hit it. Nice. Good job. Okay, here we go.
right? All that. That was kind of a struggle. A little update. Uh, I'm going to keep this rigging point to get that last one that goes over the trailer. So I'll actually, uh, I'll throw the rope over there, hook it, and I'll have to go down and, and come out to make that cut and then chunk that wood. And then I'm thinking maybe keeping this rigging point for that maybe. Or I'll just climb out there and slice it up. angle sucks. Super limb weighted out the way we're cutting it. We're on this bank. I got this thing rigged where it's kind of butt tied. I got it choked off up here, going down around that around, and then timber hitch like a real loose timber hitch so it has some some give. 
I just don't want this thing to hit and flop and have the butt go that way at all or roll. So that should save us. Here we go. Perfect. Rope's not even tight. So we didn't even need the rope, but made me feel better having it. <laughs> Alright, 